Hi everybody, I'm here to talk to you about integrity. In our business, especially you know real estate, it is extremely important that we have integrity. Let me just, this is really more, I guess, gonna be for the wholesalers out there. So let me tell you what's happening for the most part. What I see out there is wholesalers getting properties under contract and then they go on Facebook, say, hey, by the way, I have this property. I'm gonna assign it, who wants it? So in essence, there's no loyalty anywhere. It's just a matter of who can do the highest bid. That's fine and good if you are a wholesaler that you do not have uh, buyers in your back pocket. But let's just reverse that real quick. Let's pretend that you have two or three buyers in your back pocket that always buy from you. Of all the three, you do have a number one that buys from you almost on a regular basis, okay? So with that being said, you need to show respect to that particular one especially. Why? Because if that person constantly buys from you and you just, when you whatever property you give over there to him or her and without hesitation, the numbers are good and they buy it, well, <clears throat> always make sure that you show respect and you have integrity dealing with that person. Never do this. So let's pretend you have a property that you know your particular number one buyer will actually buy that. But for whatever reason you decided to have like a open house kind of thing without telling that person that that's what you're going to do. So your particular buyer, a number one buyer shows up at the property, but then you have two or three other investors over there. But you did not tell this buyer of yours that that's what you're going to do. Well, that's not good. It really isn't. Because especially if that number one buyer of yours has always bought without hesitation from you, and especially when you bring the property to them, do not include that particular buyer in one of those give me the highest bid kind of thing. That really isn't good. So show respect, have integrity. If you want to do that, what you do is you just tell that number one buyer of yours that that's exactly what you're going to do. Meaning you're going to have like a bidding uh, a process that you want the highest bidder. I can almost guarantee you your number one buyer is not going to fall for that. They'll just say, yeah, you go ahead and have at it. You do it. You know, just be upfront, be honest, tell that person, especially if you guys are trying to negotiate the uh, assignment fee. So, for example, if you want $10,000 assignment fee, but your number one buyer does not want to give you that, and especially he knows a lot or she knows a lot about that property and was only willing to give you, let's say, $7,000, well, you just be honest. Tell your number one buyer that, by the way, I, I can't take seven. I really need the 10. Then, there you go. So if, if you can't do the 10, I'm just going to go ahead and do open bidding. That's the best way to do that. That shows respect uh, for the relationship because if you do it any other way, you just now disrespected that number one buyer of yours because now you included that particular person in the pool of bidding that that particular buyer more than likely would not want to do because if that buyer is only willing to pay seven, why would that person jump in into a bidding process, right? So it doesn't make any sense. So. If you don't want to hurt your relationship with your number one buyer, please don't do that. Just be upfront, be honest, especially if you have a relationship already. Just, just tell the person, by the way, I cannot do the seven. I can do the 10. I want the 10. That's it. All right, so that's my tip for you today. Please be honest, have integrity, and you go a long, long way. Have a good day.